Okay, once you've set a sales forecast for your Stratson company, you'll set a production plan for each vehicle that you produce in each year, taking into account the sales forecast that you put in, plus any inventory that you still have on hand. And production planning is a key aspect of the company because making vehicles means that you're actually making the vehicles, it's no longer a forecast. And if your production planning is off and you make too many vehicles, you'll have a bunch of unsold inventory on hand. And if on the other hand, you make too few vehicles, you'll instead have stock outs and lost sales. And neither situation is good. So obviously you want your production to be as close as possible to what you actually sell. And you can see in this example that there are 54,000 units of the alpha that are still in inventory. And if I click analysis, you can see that equates to 30 days of inventory, which is not an unreasonable level of inventory to carry, as opposed to the ACE, probably too much inventory. So for the alpha, if you wanted to make enough units to equal your sales in the previous year, which was 646, you would just subtract the inventory that you still have on hand, the 54,000 units, and make 592 units of the alpha. Also back to the ACE, you can see that there's a note at the bottom of the screen in this example that the entire inventory of the ACE truck will be written off because the vehicle is being upgraded. So if you were thinking about how many ACE vehicles you need to make, you'll want to cover your projected sales without including that inventory, since in that case, it's going to be written off and it won't be there for you. And remember too, that as you increase production, you will incur a retooling charge for the necessary changes you're making in the factory. So if I make the ALEC a 200 production level, you can see that the retooling cost has gone up. And these costs are a plant and equipment investment, and those are gonna be depreciated over a 10 year period. And another option available to you on the screen to help you mitigate the risks of making too many or too few vehicles is the flex option, which will automatically increase or decrease the production numbers that you've set up or down by 10% to meet demand if the box is checked. Also, you may find after setting your production schedule that you might actually need more production capacity. And you'll want to take that into account as soon as you can, because any new capacity that you add will take one year to become active. And you don't have to do that, but if you decide not to add capacity and you do produce more than your current plant capacity, you'll incur overcapacity charges. And after you do your sales forecast and your production plan, you can go to Pro Forma Reports and Product Inventory. And you can see where your projected inventory levels will be going forward. Okay, that's what we have for you. Hope it helps. Thanks a lot.